Hey everybody, welcome to Editing in Capture One, where we take a look at one particular editing trick to make your workflow in Capture One better and easier. Today, we are taking a look at backlighting. So we have a scene here, and we know that we have a lot of backlighting in the scene, and I want to accentuate it in some way. So we're gonna take a look at how we can combine masking in order to accentuate backlighting. That's our goal with this particular edit. Let's jump into it. The first thing we're going to do is create a new layer, and we want this to be an empty adjustment layer, right here in Layers. And we're gonna start with a linear gradient. Now, a lot of people look at linear gradient as an old school way of masking the sky, but it's actually a great way of being able to mask and reinforce the direction of sunlight. And right now, sunlight is moving in this direction. So I'm just gonna draw that line, press M for mask, and that lets me see it. And I kind of wanna drag this down a little bit. Now I'm not done adding to this mask because I really want this particular bush here. How do we mask one particular subject? We're going to add it with an AI brush. So I'm going to come over here to AI brush, click on that, and I'm going to highlight over the object, try to get just that, and add it to the mask. So right now the mask is actually pretty uh, uh, extensive inside of the image, but we are now going to limit it because I don't want it in the sky and I don't want it in the already uh, shadowy areas. I just want to accentuate the actual highlights. So we are first going to remove with the magic eraser and come up and I'm going to get rid of it in the sky itself. So I'm going to make this a little bit bigger and kind of draw a squiggle through the sky and start removing portions of the sky just like that and get there and I'm good to go. So that is just the start. We're next going to limit the luma range. Let's press M on the keyboard to see again. I want to take the highlight areas and accentuate them and that's going to reinforce the backlighting which means I don't want to affect the shadow areas. And that is something we can do with Luma range. So just click on Luma range and it brings up the option to be able to limit the brightness of pixels that can be added to the mask. And this naturally tapers off inside of Capture One. All we're going to do is first click on display mask if you weren't already viewing it. Make sure we see uh, all of the highlights in this area by trailing away that uh, that feathering ability. But I'm gonna grab here at the shadows and start removing shadow portions. And I think right about there feels pretty good. I don't wanna remove too much of the bush here. And I'm going to apply. And now that's my mask. Just some highlight regions reinforced with the direction of light. Press M on the keyboard so I don't view it. And now all that I'm gonna do is take those areas and I'm going to either add exposure or potentially brightness depends on what really works better and here I am bringing in that backlighting and accentuating that and this is something that I do with a lot of backlit scenes now of course we could come in build another mask for the darker areas and build in some dehaze or something like that but realistically just coming into our image layer making sure that black point is pulled down a little bit and maybe bringing dehaze up a little bit is going to bring this to life and so this is our before and after. All right, so that is accentuating the highlights in a landscape image. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you next time.